Hello Educated North Ants, my name is Lee Towers and I'm Vice Principal at Manor School Sports College. My Twitter details are on the screen if you want to find out more following this conference about my presentation or equally if you're just keen to collaborate with somebody locally. Today I want to share with you a piece of work that we've been doing at Manor School on learning modes. The concept of learning modes was something entirely new to us at Manor School until of course we went to Ned Talks 2 and heard the brilliant Kim Duff principal at King's Heath Primary Academy talking about leadership and some of the great things that are happening at her school over in Northampton. The presentation and subsequent conversations sparked a real interest in us around the concept of learning modes and so a connection was born, a relationship developed and here I am today talking to you about learning modes and the impact it's had at Manor School. So to Kim and the team at Kings Heath, thank you, and to all those of you involved in Educating North Ants that have provided the opportunity for us to network, uh, thank you very much indeed. Culture and ethos are those elements of a school community that's often really difficult to measure. And we know that as leaders and teachers, our work in this area is never finished. Because just as we think we've cracked it, something comes along and it really tests our perception of the culture and ethos within our community. At Manor School, we're a values-driven organisation and we've worked hard to really define our mission statement, our dream of success for all. And to us, it means we're genuinely comprehensive and we strive to be truly inclusive. And so we've developed an inclusion strategy that really helps to focus on relationships and the strengthening of those relationships at all levels. Ellis and Todd's work on behaviour for learning looks specifically at student relationships and the three relationships that are significant to them. The relationship with themselves, the relationships with others and the relationships with the curriculum. And we've worked hard to ensure that we have a provision that helps to promote those things. Let's take behaviour management, for example. At our school, we've taken the view that it's entirely the responsibility of the senior leadership team to put in place uh, uh, systems and processes that mean that teachers don't have to waste their time on behaviour management. What we want our teachers to focus on is the quality of their practice, delivering the high quality and unique curriculum that we've got at Manor School and focusing on building relationships. So, Learning Modes presented us with a very, very real opportunity in which to focus on behaviours for learning in the classroom. We know behaviour and behaviours for learning are linked. There's evidence to suggest that the explicit teaching of learning behaviours can support behaviour because it creates a positive atmosphere for learning. Learning behaviours are those which we know support learning and promote engagement through self-regulation. And this directly correlates with behaviour. We've been conscious to create a deliberate climate in which these relationships can flourish. So by taking away the stresses of behaviour management and replacing that with a focus on behaviours for learning, we hope to strengthen the relationships in our school. So last academic year, as part of my inquiry question uh, in the performance learning process at our school, I investigated the extent to which teacher expectations of our students in their work and also what they're capable of helps to promote a love of learning. I really took the time to consider how managing the transitions between activities much more precisely and setting clear expectations of what learning should look like when combined with top-down planning, helps to create or promote um, a greater love of learning, or at the very least, uh, increased levels of engagement amongst the students. It's worth noting at this point uh, that we were in the midst of a health crisis, as you're aware, a crisis of unparalleled proportions. A consequence of this is that children and young people had already lost weeks of learning at this point, and we know that's consequently turned into months. As the priority shifted from health back to education in September 2019, we knew there would be a need to provide our students with clear classroom routines and high expectations. 
We also needed to ensure we maximised every moment of learning time with our students in their lessons. There was no room for wasted time. And so through the process of Future Engage Deliver, we engaged with various stakeholders, including the young people, on the modes that we might want to implement in our schools, our expectations of students in each of the modes, and we tried the delivery of learning modes in a number of areas of the school. We connected with Kim and a team at Kings Heath Primary Academy, and we looked for other schools, particularly secondary, doing similar things. Other colleagues became engaged in the process through, through their own professional learning. Uh, the maths department, for example, were curious as they'd been working with the trust uh, maths department and maths teams on something similar in the form, as, in the form of uh, I do, we do, you do, which many of you will be aware of. The outcome was what you can see on the screen and we launched in September 2019. It's still in its infancy in our school, but we're beginning to see the green shoots in terms of uh, higher expectations, reductions in low level disruption and increased learning time in the classroom, all as a consequence of strengthening relationships. And we've been able to do this in a context of COVID-19, a culture of bubbles, pods and reducing contact between people. And so that leads me to conclude with the three takeaways that hopefully you've got from this video. The first, the power of local collaboration and the impact of educating North Ants. The second, the power of high quality professional learning and the opportunity to lead your own professional learning has been a key driver in the delivery of uh, learning modes at Manor School. And finally, um, the impact of future engaged deliver. Um, has been a game changer in our organisation and um, within my leadership in particular. So get in touch if you wish to collaborate further. Thanks for taking the time to listen.